Hello tech enthusiast, welcome to our channel where we delve into the fascinating world of technology. Today we are tackling a topic that sparked endless debates in the tech community, Linux versus Windows. It's a showdown between the freedom of open source and the familiarity of a household name. Whether you are a seasoned programmer, a casual user or somewhere in between, this comparison is for you. We will explore the intricacies, strengths and quirks of each system. So sit back, grab your favorite snack and let's dive into the world of operating systems. It's Linux versus Windows. The battle of the OS giants begins now. And before starting, just a quick info for you. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced hacking concepts, network packet analysis, ethical hacking, network security, and over a dozen others. And that's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top-tier product and security companies and academicians from top universities. This course is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners and this course requires just a bachelor's degree with a 50% average and no prior programming experience and one plus year of work experience is preferred. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box to find a cyber security program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now moving back to our topic, that is Linux versus Windows. So Linux, an open source and complementary operating system, debuted in 1991, courtesy of Linus Trowalds while he was a student at the University of Helsinki. Drawing its foundation from the Unix system, Linux is acclaimed for its robust stability, enhanced security, and versatile adaptability. It's extensively utilized across various platforms, including servers, supercomputers, mobile devices, embedded systems, and desktop computers. On the other side, Microsoft is the architect behind the proprietary operating system Windows. Launched initially as Windows 1.0 in 1985, it served as a graphical overlay for the MS-DOS system. Over the years, Windows has evolved through numerous substantial updates. This operating system is prevalent across a broad spectrum of devices, encompassing personal computers, tablets, and other similar technologies, while Linux has established dominance in server and supercomputer applications. Windows enjoy widespread popularity in the personal computing realm. Windows is often lauded for its user-friendly interface, whereas Linux is celebrated for its formidable stability and security features. In the past few years, Linux has seen a surge in its adoption as a desktop operating system. This rise in popularity can be attributed primarily to the emergence of accessible and user-friendly versions like Ubuntu and Mint. Despite this, Windows continues to maintain its stronghold as the global preferred desktop operating system. Nevertheless, Linux is steadily carving out a significant niche for itself in the market. Now moving to the difference between Linux versus Windows. So starting with first, that is Windows uses different data drives like C, D, E to store files and folders. And whereas Linux uses a tree like a hierarchical file system. Linux files are ordered in a tree structure starting with the root directory whereas in Windows files are stored in folders on different data drives like C, D or E. Now moving to the next difference that is hard drives, CD-ROMs, printers are considered as devices and whereas in Linux peripherals like hard drives, CD-ROMs, printers are also considered files in Linux or Unix systems. Now moving to the next difference that is there are four types of user account types in windows that is administrator standard child and guest whereas in linux there are three types of user account types regular root and service account moving to the next difference so windows administrator user has all administrative privileges of computers and in linux the root user is the super user and has all administrative privileges and now moving to the next one so in Windows, you cannot have two files with the same name in the same folder. Whereas in Linux, you can have, that is the naming convention is case sensitive. The sample and the case 
upper case sample are two different files in Linux or Unix operating system. And moving to the next difference, so in Windows, My Documents is default home directory, whereas in Linux, for every user, directory is created, which is called his home directory. And talking about more, so Linux is an open source operating system, so user can change source code as per requirement, whereas Windows OS is a commercial operating system, so user doesn't have access to source code. And Linux is very well secure as it is easy to detect bugs and fix whereas Windows has a huge user base. So it becomes a target of hackers to attack Windows system. And if we compare Windows file system versus Linux file system, Linux runs faster even with older hardware whereas Windows are slower compared to Linux. And in Linux, as you can see, you can have two files with the same name. And in Linux, you would find the system and program files in different directories. Whereas in Windows, system and program files are usually saved in C drive. And that's to wrap up our deep dive into the Linux versus Windows saga. We hope this journey has shed light on these two powerhouse operating systems. And perhaps even helped you decide which camp you are in. Are you team Linux with its robust security and open source charm? Or do you lean towards the user friendly and widespread appeal of Windows? Let us know in the comment section below. We love hearing your thoughts and experiences. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more tech insights and comparisons. Keep exploring, keep questioning and until next time, stay curious. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.